Hi everyone, this is Jamie Kim. Uh, today I will explain about the twamp. Twamp is about its uh, two-way uh, active measurement protocol. Uh, we can check about the network uh, delay the bit from the client to the network devices. Uh, actually, last time uh, I explained about the TCP latency. And today about the Twomp, and next time uh, I will explain about a network browser. Using network browser dev tools, I will let you know how to check the each component delay. Uh, the HTML file, JavaScript, and the image file. Okay. Uh, Twomp is actually a two-way active measurement protocol. It's a standard. It's uh, RFP 53 and 57. And uh, if the network device support TWAMP, you can use it. It's open. Uh, but uh, for the example Cisco IPSLA, it's uh, no vendor compatibilities. So it's different. But uh, for Cisco devices, it doesn't support as a server. And it doesn't support uh, the client mode. So if you use TWAMP, Cisco support only server, not client. But uh, if you use IPSLA with the Cisco devices, you can use it, the Cisco device as server and client. It's different. And uh, uh, this is uh, TWAMP. TWAMP, this is client side. At client, it's sender and uh, controller, controller client. And this is like a network device side, a server side. It's reflector and servers are here. So, a uh, Trump like an exchange about control packet first, then you send the packet. Let's see the packet, actual packet. Okay. If you see the wire shock, this is actual capture after three a handshake. It uh, exchange about the control packet. So, greetings and uh, start. Then it exchanged the packet. And uh, at the packet, uh, there is a like timestamp. So we can know, we can check about the time. And at, and finally, it finish. Okay. And as I told you, uh, Cisco IOS XE. The killer list and the ESR 1000, iOS XR and NXOS and ACI, the uh, work has just a server and reflector, not a client. So it's kind of limitation. Uh, actually, uh, so we for test we need a client. First thing is a Twomp GUI. This support like a Debian. And Windows installers and Mac OS and Android. It's actually each GUI, each graphic. So if you start, it shows very graphically, very nice. This is client. And let's see, see the color list. This is color list 3650. And if you see the config, uh, there is like a responder and server of two amp configuration here under IPSLA. It's very similar with IPSLA. So uh, there is a like a switch as a server, and this is client. Uh, let's run the code from Nokia. Actually, this code is here at GitHub. The Nokia uh, upload the file called Twomp. Then it work as a, like a like a CLI. Then it can work as a responder, sender, controller, and blah blah, and very nice actually. So if I send a packet here, Catalyst will respond and it will show the wizard uh, a moment later. Hold on, please. All right, so average uh, like a delay is 28 millisecond, 
and jitter is very high because uh, there was a max 237 hue loss it 2% okay so uh, this is very nice but I I, I want to run I want to run the code and periodically and I want to uh, write down this one so uh, I made the code this code run the this trump and it, it uh, write down the result to the result that text file. So, if I run this code, it run and write down. Code is working here. So, let's see the previous result like that. And there is timestamp and there is like a, a max mean I mean min max and minimum max and average and jitter and the loss is here so actually it's very nice but last time we make a dashboard so how about the make a dashboard again so this is almost the same just here, uh, the we I change the adjust float, then I upload to the Elasticsearch. For the for more about the dashboard, please check out the uh, last last time uh, Raspberry Pi and the humidity and the temperature dashboard. The, you can check it out. Anyway, so I made it then. I I make a dashboard. So it, this is a dashboard actually. Uh, actually, for for a moment that there was no traffic. But anyway, if you see this one, this green one is average, and yellow is latency, and the bottom like a sky blue is loss. So we can make it very easy, but very effective because. Uh, if we do that, if we uh, like, uh, we can see a long time, like a twenty-four hour, or a seven day, or two day, or a week, or a month, or a year. Anyway, so in you know, just a view, then we can know so what's going on on the network device until until network devices. So. Uh, that's it very simple so Trump is very effective because it is open but uh, Cisco devices does support as a client Cisco devices work as only server so it's a limitation but it's okay we can make a we can run the client on a PC or a server or anywhere I think okay that's it this is Yama Kim bye bye